My magazine started as a project that wants to tell real stories about real people. Hector Gutierrez, an international student from Mexico, is now in his senior year at Sacred Heart University. As he was planning to apply to internships in New York City to go with his English and Global Studies major, he ran into a problem. I wanted to work in publishing. I wanted to go do something that was going to prepare me for the jobs that I was going to apply later on. And then I discovered that international students cannot do an internship unless their program requires one. And unfortunately for me, English and Global Studies do not require their students an internship. I was trying to find something that would let me create my own experience, but also something that I would enjoy. You know, for some reason, it came in the form of a magazine, which allowed me to not only, you know, write for it, it allowed me to talk to people, meet people, listen to their stories. It was definitely hard to find writers, but it was also easy. You know, I think when people started seeing what the magazine was about, they were more compelled to, to reach out and, and, you know, say, hey, I want to write something, or hey, I have a really good story. Growing up in Mexico, I read a lot of books about stories of people that, you know, lived in the U.S. that looked different than me, spoke different than me, had different experiences. So I really wanted to have something where different people from different cultures define and relate to the stories for them to just, you know, find more about who they are. And that's why every issue published has its own theme. The first issue featured topics of resilience, while the January issue focused on hope. I think I'm trying to create a magazine that will resonate through all sorts of differences, you know, age, race, cultural background, like nationality, languages. Like I'm trying to reach as many people as I can just by telling stories that matter. With a millennial twist, Mud is almost entirely a remote magazine in both production and product. It's all through email and it's all through like, you know, deadlines that I give them, uh, email contacts, sometimes FaceTime. It's basically all online. Um, I know like especially college students don't have a lot of time to just, you know, have meetings like regular magazines do. So I try to be as accommodating as I can for other students to want to write but don't feel like it's a burden for them. And when it comes to the magazine, like I want it to be as real as it can be. So I literally go to people and say, you know, you have a story. The only thing I ask for you is that you believe it's a story that matters and the people in the world should know about it. There are a few steps that go into producing your own magazine. Basically what happens is that the first time of the month, like right after the issue is published, it's like all social media. The next part is a little more laid back too because it's just me contacting writers. The last thing would be like the actual crunch time, you know, computer editing, photo editing, you know, writing, editing, all that stuff that takes for the final product to be made. While Hector has the help of his contributing writers, his biggest support comes from his sister. My sister, she has helped me so much with the magazine. We work on it together. We brainstorm ideas. We pretty much just build the entire issue from, from the beginning all the way to the end together. While reflecting on his journey with Mud, Hector offered insight to what students in internships are supposed to walk away with. I think regardless if it's required for the major or not, I think everyone in college just wants to get that experience and wants to, you know, get their foot in the door for companies and businesses all around. But I, I don't feel like I'm left out by not being able to do an internship because for me, the idea or the basis of an internship is to get experience. I, I think it's, it worked out not the way I wanted to, but like I think it worked out the best way possible. Mud Magazine can be found at issuu.com slash themudmag. This is Jessica Shalou reporting for The Pulse.